Hello class, my name is Luis Ceballos, and today I will be teaching you how to solve two-step equations. So to begin with, let's do a one-step equation to refresh our memories. So let's do x plus 4 equals 7. Alright, so Ryan, can you identify a variable, please? x. Alright, so x is our variable. And Jorge, what's our function? Addition. It is. So, we have to isolate the variable in order to solve for it. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to subtract by 4 since we're going to do the inverse function. So, x plus 4 minus 4. Am I done there, Keon? What's an inverse function? An inverse function is going to be the opposite of what we have here. So, let's say if we have addition, we're going to subtract. And if we have multiplication, we're going to be dividing. And okay. since we're subtracting on the left side, we also have to subtract on the right side by the same amount. So since we're subtracting by 4 on this side, we also have to subtract by 4 on this side. So we have 4 minus 4, and that goes off to 0. So we have x equals 7 minus 4. And then from here, it's easier math, which would just be 7 minus 4, which is 3. So we want to go back and be able to check our solution. So we put, plug it in back to the original equation. So we do 3 plus 4 equals 7. And we know that's true, so 7 equals 7. All right, anyone have any questions? All right, moving on. So let's try a two-step equation now. So let's do 3x plus 1 equals 7. So we know the variable in this situation is x. And it isn't always x, it's just a letter but I'm just using x as an example here. So what would be our first step, Jorge? You subtract the 1. Correct. So we would be doing 3x plus 1 minus 1 equals 7. And don't forget to subtract on the other side as well. So we have 3x, and this goes off to 0, and that equals 6. What do we do now, Ryan? Divide by 3 on both sides. Sorry, Cam. Yes, so we divide by 3 on each side, and now we have that, which goes off to 1. So we have x equals 2. What's the next step, Cam? <laughs> oh, no, we're not done yet. We have to check our answer. Correct. So we plug it back into the original equation. So we have 3 times 2 plus 1 equals 7. 3 times 2 equals 6, plus 1 equals 7. So we know that is true. All right? Okay. So, just to review, our first step of solving a two-step equation would be, number one, to identify the variable. And then the next step would be to identify the functions in order to use inverse functions. The final step would be to make sure that we are isolating x or whatever our variable may be in order to solve a two-step equation. Any questions? We forgot a step, we have to check our answer. We do. Check our solution. All right, that's it for today's lesson. All right, to kind of wrap up today's lessons, I wrote up a little chant that we can use in order to remember what we have to do first to solve a two-step equation. So it goes a little something like this. Uh, repeat after me, okay? I've got math skills. I've got math skills. So do you. So do you. Two-step equations. Two-step equations. We know what to do. We know what to do. Isolate x. Isolate x. What goes next? What goes next? Inverse functions. Inverse functions. We're on the road to success. We're on the road to success. All right, now let's do it all quickly, all right? Together. I've got math skills, so do you. Two-step equations, we know what to do. Isolate x, what goes next? 
inverse functions we're on the road to success all right good job class we'll have uh, class is dismissed and we will see you tomorrow